Hey, how's it going? Z-Man the Tech here. I want to thank you for tuning in to Snowly Games. As always, I appreciate you very much. And today, we're hopping into Robotech, the Macross Saga HD Edition on Nintendo Switch, which is basically an HD remaster of a, a Game Boy Advance game, if you're not aware. And if you're also not aware, I am a huge mech fan. Anything anime and mech, I'm on, I'm on board with that. So that was definitely one of the first things I got into back in the day very old school but um yeah i'm excited so and i'm actually i have my arcade stick today so i'm you know i'm ready um i'm ready for this uh this uh shmup style game it's been a minute since i played one i feels good to get back on the stick you know what i'm saying so let's uh let's go to we have co-op play but um i'm just gonna be by myself today so we're gonna check the options see what we got all right so difficulty is normal what, what, what other ones do we have? Normal and advanced? Okay. Um, rumble, which this arcade stick doesn't have rumble, so. Uh, player one button scheme. Alright, so B is secondary. A is the primary. And then we could change our form. We can actually transform mid-game at any time. There's I want to say there's three different uh, forms. Three to four. Okay. Um, let's see, we got credits, delete file. I think we're pretty much good. But uh, what options do we have for a language here? Let's uh, toggle through them for you. There you go. All right, we'll save and exit. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm excited. Okay, well, here's the characters that we have. First off, we have Hunter R. Fokker. Sterling. Uh, Maria and Dixon uh, everyone else is locked currently I'm guessing you know the further you get in the story the more you can uh, you know what I'm saying do a little something it looks like you can change their forms to see what they look like yeah so that's the main form you're gonna see like the airplane form then you have the uh, airplane form with the legs and the actual mech form it's so cool I love it <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go with uh, Hunter. Okay. All right, during an air show that uh, celebrates the newly created Robotech fighters, the Veritex, an unknown alien force, attacks Earth. Uh, stop the invaders from destroying Macross City and the SDF-1, Captain Global. Hostile forces are close enough to cause the main guns to fire. Uh, launch the fighters. Okay. All Veritech scramble. We are under attack. This is not a drill. Okay. All right. I'm excited. <laughs> Let's get it in. Booby trap. Okay. Wow. This is like really loose. I don't know if you can change the sensitivity, but <laughs> I know I want to say it probably changes when you uh, transform, but it'll you know, like it'll significantly slow down your uh, maneuverability. So there probably is for a reason that it's this loose. Just takes a second to get used to, I guess. For those ground units, I'll probably end up using the uh, missiles. I think I, I, I just took damage. Dang. Man, they got the they got the re the actual music in here. Like it's probably gonna get copyright, but it's whatever. <laughs> I don't even care anymore. As long as it's a claim, you know. It's as long as it's not a strike, it's whatever. But plus, the music's so good in this in this anime. Definitely uh, sound off in the comments if you remember this anime. You know, all my uh, my slightly older folks, you know, that are, uh, I want to say, in your 30s or older. They definitely probably remember Robotech. Oh, I got the health, but I took damage right after. Okay, yeah, that's cool. So we can, uh, we can alternate. It doesn't, like... 
penalize you or slow you down if you're trying to use uh, missiles and fire off the primary. So this is really cool. Thank goodness they don't penalize you for getting too close to the ground. Oh, I got help. Let's go. Man, you lose a lot of health. Like, they take a lot of damage, though. That's the only thing. You got to be real careful not to take damage. Oh, I'm down. <laughs> Lost my, uh, lost my help too, but it's okay. My assistance has left me. I kind of want to see what it's like to, uh, change forms here. Well, the maneuverability is not too much lesser. I'm definitely taking a lot more damage though. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, there's the health too. This game is not easy. <laughs> I'm telling you that right now. That laser cannon took a lot of damage just now. It took half my health. Jeez. Bruh. Help me out here. Get, okay, the health does recover a good bit, but it, they take so much damage, though. Oh, man. This is not easy. Oh, my gosh. Like, the difficulty ramped up so fast. <laughs> I knew I was going to get hit. There's no way out of that. <laughs> this is a quarter muncher if anything jeez it hit me freaking hit me I got two lives left so I'm going to try to hold on to him I was so close. I was so close to getting the health. Bruh. These missiles are crazy. Oh my gosh. It's my last life here. Did I finally make it to the boss? Oh, you can, uh, looks like you can alternate the shoot, uh, the primary secondary shot with, uh, Y and X. I like A and B, though, for now. Am I out of missiles? I think I'm out of missiles. I didn't realize, ah, I didn't realize there was a limit. I think we'll be good though. The bosses are easier than the actual levels. I'll take that. Unless it's just like a mid boss. That was a little too easy. Okay. We'll see what happens. Okay, wow, I finally made it with like one life left. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, it is tough. But it feels it feels good on the stick, you know? It's just uh the the mobility is like really, really loose. Um it's taking a little bit to get used to. Okay, cost, experience. Um, I don't really need any more speed, I'll tell you that. So maybe strength, stamina.
save the game? Yeah, let's do it. All right, after a disastrous space fold, uh, the SDF-1 finds itself near the rings of Saturn. The Zentredi fleet blocks its way to Earth. Breakthrough, the Zen I don't know how to say that, Zentredi <laughs> fleet, so the SDF-1 can get home. We need to break through the Zentredi fleet. The only way is to Blitzkrieg. A counterattack? Oh, Claudia isn't here. Okay, that's what's up. Claudia, let's go. <laughs> a a counterattack? Yes, it is the only way. <clears throat> Prepare for combat. We are attacking the uh, Zen Zentredi. To fight on is foolish. Surrender the Space Fortress to us now. Good luck. We must win there for our sake. Oh, God. That's that's no pressure. <laughs> Mission 2, Blitzkrieg. So hopefully we can take a little more damage now. Uh, I mean, I already just tested that theory now, and I guess, I don't know, it doesn't seem any different. <laughs> they take so much damage. Uh, oh, I'm out. At least we saved the game to where uh, we, we shouldn't get a complete game over. And we should be able to start from this level again, hopefully. Oh, it does hurt you. Oh, no. I think I went too low. Unless I was getting shot. It's, it's possible I was getting shot. Whew. All right. Let's try again here. Blitzkrieg. Okay. Thank goodness. Yeah. So we're good. All right. So we should get all of our lives back at least. I kind of wish it didn't kick you all the way back to the, the main menu, but you know, it's whatever. It's funny because I don't see a limit for the uh, the missiles. And I was using them the entire game but, but until I got to the boss and I couldn't. Maybe that's just the thing they do. Oh, I, I scraped the bottom. I gotta stop doing that. Ah. It's like you move so fast, it's hard to, like, slow down before you hit the bottom. Oh, I think I did run out of missiles. Let's see. The fact that you get EXP in this is pretty cool. Gives us some depth. Bruh. It's like I'm trying not to hit the ship by running into it. <laughs> but it's like they're so low to the thing. I might have to just use missiles for them. Oh my god. I only get two lives now? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Alright, one more time, y'all. But yeah, just know it is a challenging game. Um,. There wasn't actually an easier difficulty. There's just this mode and even harder than this, which is insane. So, uh, looks like whoever you choose, uh, the stats that are increased only apply to those characters. So, at least for it, it makes for a good uh, replayability. But it, you know, you just got to keep that in mind. But yeah, it's the last time, y'all. I just. I'm going to have to uh, spend some more time with this and get used to the, the controls and everything. Yeah, your your missiles are limited. I wish they had like a, a some kind of a counter so you can see how many you have. Unless there's a cooldown maybe? Maybe that's what it is. I really was trying to make it to that hell. Oh gosh. <laughs> that got me killed. I just wanted to try out the transformation. Uh, wow. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a tough game. It's a, it's definitely a quarter muncher if anything. I wonder if it's based off of uh, an arcade game or something. Cause I know the I know it originally existed on GBA, but my goodness.
Whew, that is tough. But anyway, we're, we're at the 15 minute mark, you know what I'm saying? You already know how we do on this channel. We play games for 15 to 20 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Give you an idea of what to expect. Uh, but if you want to see more of this game, I, I, obviously I'm not that great at it, so I can try. But <laughs> let me know in the comments. I'll do, I'll do what I can. But uh, until then, if you like what you saw, definitely like, comment, subscribe. Remember to keep it locked to Snowly Games for all of your indie game, third-party game, tech review coverage. Sometimes Nintendo and retro games thrown in the mix. All right. Have a good one. Take care.